Pro Evolution Soccer 5. Alright guys, welcome to Pro Evolution Soccer 5. Today, guys, this game is coming at you right out of the box. So, I ain't got like a memory card or anything inserted into this. Um, that's what she said. So yeah, um... You guys have seen a lot of Pez 5 on my channel, but to be honest, right, we're, we can, we're having a look at what this game offers and maybe comparing it against the last one in the series. So, uh, yeah, to start off, this is your main menu. Looks very nice. Got the Chelsea and uh, Arsenal. Um, well, to be honest, around that time, they were sort of like a, uh, the front cover. You know, Chelsea was like the big thing back then, you know what I mean? Winning the title and stuff all, all, all like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of hype on that on this game, guys. It's it's really really good as we'll get into it. So obviously, in the main menu, we got the network, so you can play online. Never played online ever on this game, so I don't know about that. Maybe you guys can let me know what it was like or something. Uh, we got options, so you can actually link the game to the uh, the PSP. Now, before guys, I've actually done this when I was at, we was having a look at PES Six before. And yeah, basically it'll just transfer data. So like whatever you, I think whatever you change in the PS2 version, you can tr send it over into the PSP, and that's like all done. So like you could like change like the the names of the teams and stuff like that, and it'll just transfer it over. So I don't really need to go over that um, again, really. Um, we got the Pez Shop. What do we got this time then? So we got uh, players, which uh, adds a player. Teams adds a team, guys. I think those are like classics and stuff like that again. Uh, background music, so you can listen to background music, view the stadiums, you can have a ball effect, so just like a rainbowy effect or whatever on replays for, for the ball. Original dribble challenge, uh, exhibition stadium, you got a training ground, you can add a new stadium. Uh, we got the camera type, so we got the bird's eye and the uh, camera type for the player. We got the six star difficulty, we got double match speed, which is crazy, we got ball type. Um, which is 3000, we got edit appearance, hairstyle, goal celebration, we got the ML composition so you can change the Master League setup, we got the ML starting points so you can change how much money you start with in the Master League and that's all you pretty much need to know about that. We got edit which takes a while to load up but you'll see what it is. So basically in edit though it's pretty straightforward you can edit what well, is it's right here you can edit the league um, or cup name you can edit a stadium name a player number you can edit a team so you can move players around register player edit player you can even edit boots guys if you want to which I don't think I've ever touched in a million years <laughs> on this game so yeah um yeah and then obviously you can do training you can do a cup you could do a league, you could do the master league, or just a flat out normal match. Um, yeah, I think in, is it in training? Yeah, you've got the situation training, free training, challenge training, so it gives you different scenarios and stuff like that, and then obviously you begin to training and whatnot. Um, today we're going to have a quick look at what the master league has to offer, so I'm just going to go well to be honest i should probably explain this so we got the entrance scene so like uh, you can have like an intro to the match you can do it for an important matches only uh you can just turn it off or you can just have it on for everything obviously we can't touch ml starting points because we haven't unlocked that and i haven't unlocked anything in this game because i don't have a memory card in or anything we've got to change the match time right up to 30 minutes if you wish game level um you can have it on whatever you want i think i'll just keep it on free star for this, for this one guys because i haven't played the ps2 version of pes5 in years so yeah uh, group names you can either have them as one to four or it to the alphabetical i like to put them as alphabetical auto save on strip selection yes you can obviously change the ball type and effects but we haven't unlocked that in the game this is just right out of the um this was right out of the box guys so master league default players just have a quick browse at them because we we do like to we do like to have a look at them guys we do not we do like to check up on what's going on with them so yeah this is pretty much your league right here we've got all your premier league teams i don't really think i have to whoa i don't think i really have to go through these uh to be honest well, well, maybe. I think we got Arsenal, Aston Villa, Birmingham, Blackburn, Everton, Chelsea, Charlton, Bolton, Fulham, Liverpool, Man City, Manchester United, Sunderland, uh, Portsmouth, Newcastle, Middlesbrough, Spurs, West Brom, or West Ham, and Wigan. There we go. So yeah, we got the French uh, league right here. Uh, so we got. I'm not going to point at them, but I'm just going to read them off a list. We got JCO, Monaco, Auxerre, Bordeaux, Lehmans, uh, Lille, Lyon, Metz, Nancy, Nantes, Nice, uh, Marseille, Paris, 
Paris Saint Germain, that is PSG, Lens, Rennes, and Etienne, Schalk, Schalk, whatever they're called, Strasbourg, uh, Toulouse, and Troyes, guys. And we've actually got the uh, German League, which I believe is the last time it appeared in uh, PES. Um, because they did get rid of uh, the German League when we went into PES 6 for some reason. I don't know why, to be honest. But yeah, uh, in your uh, in your German League, though, guys, you've got um, Klon, um, Arminia, Le Leverkusen, Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Mönchengladbach, uh, Duisburg. I don't know. <laughs> Frankfurt, Hamburg, Hanover, Hefe Berlin, uh, Kaiserslautern, uh, Mainz, Nuremberg, Schalke, uh, Stuttgart, Wolfsburg, and Bremen, guys. So uh, that's that. And then we should have the uh, the other leagues as well. Uh, of course, after the uh, Italian one here. So I don't really, I don't think I really need to go through these ones here. But uh, yeah, they're pretty much all your Italian teams right there for you if you need them guys uh, you've got the Eredivisie as well so again all your teams there and then there should be La Liga right after that there we go so yep all your La Liga teams make a return guys which is uh, pretty nice that they, uh, they managed to retain it for another year here as well and obviously they did uh, beyond that as well but um yeah right here is the league that I was talking about so we've got Benfica, Besiktas, Celtic um I hate, I hate pronouncing things, guys. Uh, Dur Gardens, Dur whatever, Dynamo Kiev. We got FC Belgium, which is actually uh, Club Bruges. We got Copenhagen, Porto. Um, Constantin is for his fan about here. We got Galatasaray, we got the locomotive Moscow, we got Olympiakos, we got Panathinaikos, we got Rangers, Rosenborg, we got um, Brussels, which is Andelect, we got Shakhtar Donetsk as well, um, which is oh, yeah, should be that one, uh, and then we got. Who the, he who the hell is that? We got Sparta Prague and Sport in Lisbon. So we got Sao Paulo and Pez United and the legendary We United as well, guys. So yeah, that's uh, pretty good. So I guess we'll just do some sort of random thing. It doesn't even matter who you go with, for example, guys. You know what I mean? You could have like Barca or whatever. Um, obviously, again, in this game, you can change the composition. So you can change what league you're trying to get promoted into. And you can also change all the teams around if you've unlocked the composition within the uh, with the shop, guys. So, uh, yeah, there you go. The Master League Division 2. Well, so straight away, retired and newcomers, guys. So, yeah, uh... We got some retired players right here straight away, which I guess kind of makes sense. But yeah, <laughs> you, you, you know, you so you've got some new newcomers. So these are the ones that are out going from sort of like Pez Four and backwards, guys. And obviously, they're really kind of old. But then obviously, you've got your newcomers right here. We got Jaric, um, who's legend. These are the legends, guys, right here. The new legends: Dodo, Odaz, Lofar, Liberman, Ruskin. Ruskin's actually a bit of a ledge. Um, Gerson, Stein, Steeny Stein, 4K, uh, and Hamson. Hamson, oh, what a ledge. Hamson is a ledge. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, we could actually look at them. Okay, there we go. So you can actually look at them as well if you need to do that. But let's just have a quick look at the team itself before we get into a match, though. So here's our, our main menu in the Master League, which you're probably all pretty much aware of. You've got your locker room, which includes opponent data, set formation, net match analysis, but obviously you have to put a game first. You've got your calendar and everything like that, cup information, records room, topics, which is just like... Um, it goes over different stuff of the game, you know what I mean? If you've seen my Master League, I go through all that stuff, guys, so I'm not going to explain any of that here. That's a, maybe a little bit too in-depth. Negotiations, regular conditions so you can try and get the former players up and stuff like that. Development sheet of how players have developed over time. You can edit the teams as well. You can edit player numbers and the kits and stuff like that. But obviously, if you've got a, a team that... Um, is uh, officially licensed you can't edit the kits and stuff like that so uh, yeah anyway um so yeah we're gonna have a quick look at the 
formation, set formation data. So obviously this is the team itself. So we got Ivorov, Elmery, Yerich, Stremadodo, Iga, um, Espimus, Simeles, Menenda, Odas, Castor, Lofar, Zamenhof, the legendary Zamenhof man. Bit of Keki, a bit of Limmerman, bit of Ruskin, who's actually a really good player, actually. Like I said before, I guess. And uh, Steeny Stein, a bit of Maka, Maka's back. 4K, bad shit, bit of bad shit, guys. Bit of Hampson and a bit of Hewlands. Yeah, I mean, Hampson and Hewlands, man. That's where it's at. So there is your default Master League squad, guys. Anyway, we're going to play a match. I haven't really decided who I'm going to play, actually. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to go with Germany, actually. And I am going to play... I'm going to be as Dortmund against Bayern. Then go on, we'll do that for today, guys. So, uh, yeah, you can actually change the setup of different things. So you can actually change, like, the... Uh, the kits, um, like the shots and um, the, the shirts and stuff like that. So yeah, well, I've, I suppose we'll have the entrance scene. And I'm actually going to do... Where is it? I'm actually going to do a five-minute match for this, guys. Because we've already been quite through a lot of stuff when we've looked at the previous PES games. So I don't want this to drag on too long. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just start off on a, on a free start. Well, I'm going to do a freestyle difficulty on this one. Um, so time, we got day. We can pick the season as well. So you got summer or winter. So we'll go for summer. Uh, rain, uh, sorry, weather we can pick fine, rainy or random. We'll go with fine. You can stay. These are your stadiums, guys. I'm just going to scroll through these, to be honest. Um, because it, it, it's not too important going over all the stadiums. But this is uh, what you've got in the game this time round guys so uh, I think there's a few more actually in PES 5 than there was uh, PES 4 there but uh, yeah you know what we'll go we'll go at Highbury yeah I mean last it was the last uh, season at Highbury this so we'll go at Highbury whatever doesn't really matter too much and obviously you got your uh, you got your you got your uh, team right here guys so we've got a 4 3 3 out that's good stuff man I'm enjoying that I think this was because in wasn't it in the in PES 4 you had the OMF which I think was like offensive midfielder or something like that and you had like CBT for like center backs and stuff like that so yeah I think they got rid of that and they've just got like DMF CMF um, AMF you got SS center forwards goalkeepers side backs stuff like that guys so that's kind of different oh, obviously wing forwards and kind of different stuff like that so i think they've kind of maybe like simplified that a little bit um obviously change the kick takers if you wish and the captain very straightforward mess around with all the strategies and whatnot if you want guys and we're just gonna go straight to a match today so here we are then this is it guys this is pro evo 5 and it's uh it's one of my faves guys it's one of my faves i do prefer pes 6 a little bit more than it but it's definitely up there and this is where I spend quite a lot. I, 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 this is where I really started to get into Pez, to be honest, guys. You know, what I mean, I played a bit of Pez Four, and I liked it so much. I thought, right, I know Pez Five is coming out pretty soon. I'm gonna buy Pez Five, and I'm gonna play the shit out of it. And it was just, am it was just amazing, guys. I did a Master League, um, but I think, I think what I did is I did a Master League with Liverpool, and I think I ended up trying to. Put, I put in a bid for Victor Valdez. <laughs> um, and I remember getting game over because I bought him. I, I just put in the basic amount that, that you know, uh, Barcelona, of course, at the time would have wanted. And <laughs> I ended up uh, gaming over because of it. And I was like, wow. And it was actually going, I was really getting into it and it was going really well. And then I just kind of screwed it up like that because I'm a ledge and stuff. And, ah, oh, yeah, not bad so far there. But, um, yeah, it's got it. I just like playing this game straight out of the box without a patch. It just kind of... It irritates me a bit <laughs> you know what I mean it just irritates me I'm so used to patching this game these days on the PC but um, yeah not only that guys I did a, I did a master league actually with Arsenal once I ended up signing Gerard and Ronaldinho in my, I think my first season but I didn't actually win the league I think I came like third in the league something like that I did pretty well but I wasn't enough I, there was just stupid matches against like friggin the likes of Middlesbrough and things like that where I just couldn't win but I, I had some really good fun on it guys you know what I mean I, I just I don't know why I went with Arsenal I just thought they would be good they had like Thierry and Marine stuff like that and um, yeah I, I really I really enjoyed this guys and uh, yeah so you know if you've seen my Master League you'll know how like <laughs> how much I like it else I wouldn't be still playing it Jesus like four years later but um yeah, I don't know. Like, so gameplay wise in this game, again, like Pez 4 felt a little bit smoother. This one feels even a little bit more smoother, guys. Um, but I don't just want to keep repeating myself saying, oh, this is smoother and that's smoother. 
they've got a goal there, never mind. But um, yeah, it's kind of like um, I don't know how to put it really. One of the one of the uh, significant things that I was going to bring up when we we was doing the Pez Four video, but I'm going to bring it up now because obviously it's Pez Five. But um, is the fact that when you sort of moving on the ball, the players sort of turn differently if that if that makes sense. Whereas in Pez Four, they never like sort of used to do that in previous versions and whatnot. Again, the replay system right here, you can actually save goals and stuff like that if you wish to, or look at it from different angles, etc. So that's that's all still there, guys. You know what I mean? It's still got to be there. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can do it right here. So, yeah, like, you know what I mean? You can see like the way the, the, the player is moving kind of thing. It's kind of... It, it, it feels different. You know what I mean? It, it feels... I don't know what the word is, to be honest. It, 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 it just, I don't know, it's something I, I prefer, why I prefer to play PES 6 over PES 5 is because like with the way the turning on the ball kind of works and the movement just feels a little bit, you feel a little bit out of control of it when it's happening, if that makes sense. And it just, it feels like it slows the gameplay down slightly. Whereas in PES 6 you don't kind of get any of that. And I think that's offside. Yeah, that sucks. It's Rossi, a bit of Rossi, a bit of a legend in there. He is a he is a Pez Five ledge for me, guys. So uh, anyway, yeah, like this uh, this game because um, obviously at the time, like you know, with uh, FIFA Six was out and this game uh, that season, and obviously there was the, it was sort of like the build up to the World Cup and all stuff like that. So um, yeah, I mean there was a lot of, a lot of hype on that and whatnot. And um, I don't know, I just, I, w one thing that I really, I guess, attracted me to, to Pez more than FIFA was, was the fact that it had, like, different, it, it just feels like in Pez a lot, a lot of the goals aren't particularly the same, whereas in FIFA they do feel kind of samey, but there's a, there's a lot of, like, little details they put in Pez that kind of make it, maybe that touch unique, like, I, I remember looking through the instruction booklet for the game, right, and it had all like the different like signs and symbols and stuff like that of what they mean like you know if a player gets injured if he gets taken off uh, uh, added time all that kind of stuff uh, that the formation um, symbols and stuff like that and I always thought that was really cool to uh, to have you know what I mean I, I really liked that kind of thing about Pez and I, I just don't know what it was about Pez like I, I can't explain it I just had like much more fun it just felt it feels like a lot it, 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 I feel more like anything can happen at any time kind of thing, if you get what I'm saying, guys. It feels like there's, there's more control involved with FIFA. It just feels like we're playing on a grid most of the time. And I don't know, it just it just feels like there's only so many ways you can score. At least it did in 2005. I will give credit to 06, though. And beyond, like they did change it uh, uh, up, so you felt a little bit more in control. Though it felt, it felt like it was. Whereas Pez never really felt like we was playing on a sort of grid. I guess I don't know. So it is up to you guys what you sort of think, what you ever played. But still, um, I enjoyed it. And wow, the time has actually gone pretty fast in this one. So uh, yeah, come on, man, we got to win this one today. I might do. I might actually do a, a penalty shootout because you can just like do a, a, a penalty. Um, shootout match if you wish so um and i used to do that all the time i used to have so much fun just uh doing penalty shootouts and stuff just for fun just ma making up like scenarios like oh i'm just like making up like i don't know pretending that i was in a cup final or something and doing a, doing a, doing a doing a penalty shootout you know can't, i can't have been the only one who did that guys come on come on or was that just me am i just a freak or something you know what i mean but um yeah, so I enjoyed the Master League. Um, I've actually done leagues on on Pez Five before. Like you know, I've done. Um, what a goal! Holy crap! I didn't expect that to go in at all. Um, all right then. Um, what what was I gonna say now? Yeah, I've done I've done like leagues in the past. I've I've done actually one with Bayern Munich and sort of in like my own time a few years ago. Uh, I've done one with, I think, Barca. Oh, man, what a goal. What a hit this was. Oh. Oh, bang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and goals like that, that can happen, guys. That um, that just make it even more amazing. Oh, oh, although saying that, 
if you do have a look at it, the keeper did put all his weight onto his other side just as the shot was taken. So I don't know. He might have saved it if he stayed in the middle. But that was that was a pretty cool one. You got to give me that one. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, like I say, very smooth. Feels even smoother gameplay in this one, guys. It just it feels fat. I think that's one thing I like about it because when I play FIFA, I'm always turning the game speed up to fast. Whereas in this game, it just feels fast anyway, and you don't need to turn any game speed up or anything like that. And that's something I always liked. I, I love how like the master league works with like you know the transfers and stuff like that. And um, it is a shame that you can't transfer. Uh, players right at the start of the season though in the master league though which kind of uh, sucks the, uh, the 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 layout is pretty much just the same as pes 4 as well the calendar system in the master league um it is in pes 5 and it was just the same in pes 6 as well um and uh you know i, I just i kind of like that sort of thing you know what i mean it just feels great when you actually sign some new players in this game and they they make the debut and they start to get going and stuff like that and it's just I don't know, just just something about it. I don't know. I just don't know what it is. It just it just got me addicted to it, and it just felt great. But um, yeah, really, really good guys. Really, really good. And again, they've got the licenses and everything like that. And um, it just ah, oh, I was I was ready to attack again there. But yeah, that was that was a pretty good goal though. I think you have to give me that one, guys. Not too bad. Might actually do just a little cheeky penalty shootout actually just to end off with though, just so you guys can maybe see one or something. But uh, yeah, GG. So anyway, if you go into the uh, the match uh, selection stuff like you could do actually do a, a memorial match. Keep re keep record of wins, losses, average goals in the game with a friend. So that's something. But you need a memory card to obviously do it. I do have a memory card, but I'm just not using it for the purposes of just keeping because I think I might have. Uh, an option file still on one of my memory cards and I just want to show you guys what this game looks like right out of the box so yeah uh, what are we gonna do in here oh I don't know let's go with you know what let, let, I'm gonna go with Sa we're gonna go we're, have, we're gonna have Sao Paulo and we're gonna have oh, I don't know you know what we'll have we'll have Sao Paulo versus we United or something like that something crazy guys yeah we'll do we'll do that yeah, let's go for that. God damn, the, the loading takes so long for a penalty shootout. You have no idea. But anyway, that's not the point. We are going to go for it right here, guys. And mm, actually, you know what? Mm, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to go for the high form side back to take one before the uh, blue arrow striker but yeah this is where i used to i used to pretend i was in cup finals and stuff doing these guys I used to have some really epic penalty shootouts on this game though. i used to love it especially pest six as well so yeah i bet he misses oh he's got it i mean i hate it when they miss because i just it just feels like we shouldn't be missing but you do i guess it's just i get you know i've always wondered how the penalty system on this game works always missed um, you know, I mean, is it just, like, random or what? Like, I just don't know how it really works, to be honest. You know, I mean, I've never really... Is it just... Is it just... It, or do you pick your spot, shoot, and it just... By chance, is it random that it just either will miss or, or what? Is there certain areas of the goal that um, you're destined to miss or something? I don't know. I would really love to know how it works, actually. Does it go based on players' stats? I mean, you think it would have some sort of effect, wouldn't you? Um, or something. I mean, like, some players can have attributes where they're, they're like, good at um, taking penalties. Like, uh, I think Simao in Pez 6 has got a star against his penalty taking. Oh, my God, honestly. That was to win it. Um, and, like, he never used to miss, like, any penalties for me when I signed him in a Master League once. But, um, yeah. Oh, come on. Like, just get this last one, please. I'm feeling... No, I'm going to go bottom... Yeah, left. Yeah, I was feeling bottom right, but I feel like I, if I went there, I'd, I'd miss it. I don't know. I'm superstitious, guys. But uh, yeah, that is Pez 5, guys. It's not half bad at all. It's a legendary game. You know, again, I ask you guys the questions. Did you buy it? Did you have it? Did you still play it like I do? Because you're a freak or something, you know? Um, these days, uh, or, or what, guys? Let me know. But uh, yeah, very good memories. Very good gameplay. 
pretty much just a, a bit more of an upgrade from PES 4 and it's it's you know I mean why change something that isn't broken guys pretty much so uh, yeah and I guess next time then again I think we've already looked at PES 6 I don't think there'll be a PES 6 one to be honest guys but uh, yeah that is PES 5 today guys so yeah uh, please do comment rate subscribe and share as always guys let me know and I'll see you in another video another time take care